<laughs> Look at this, they provide a little bike rack. So you can pedal into here, then park your bike. Nice. Here's the main road that runs along the spine of this place. That's where we came from. That goes all the way towards Ipswich in the south. Hell, look at the bike rack. Jeez. I'm a little confused how they think uh, you would ride a bike on this boardwalk anyways. Right? Yeah. I want to have that happen, to be honest. Yeah. I, I want to appear in court and be like, really, you're going to take my license because I chose to ride my bike so I wouldn't drive drunk? Great. Great plan. Oh, what's even funnier is what do they do for the Denver boot on it? <laughs> so this is one of the cooler boardwalks. They're all pretty amazing. This particular area will be loaded with warblers in spring. It's one of the best warbler viewing spots one is likely to find. Up, oh, I hear a blackbird. It just took off. Yeah. It's making its warning chirp. It isn't doing its full blooded conqueree noise yet. Yeah, we're climbing up the ancient back of the dune. See, this is what it would look like down in the village if morons hadn't built houses on it. And you can tell that it's pretty stable as a consequence of being left alone. These Atlantic white cedars aren't going anywhere. Look at this rustic charm. Oh, Ludlow Griscom. No kidding. He was one of the legendary ornithologists. And now we're actually ascending the dune top. Look at how stable this is. Lord. This is what happens when you leave dunes alone. See, this dune system is quite stable.
your tax dollars at work. And now we follow this construct. You can see the wind blew these dunes fairly high. We're about 60 feet in the air. Regular panorama. Remember the way back on this side of the loop, this is always heading from this direction is always a little shorter road, I think. And here we are, back at the joining of the loop. <coughs> the crossing point. The motorists. This is your tax dollars at work, well-crafted, thoughtfully rendered. <laughs> 